Does how you grill a cheap steak really make a difference? There are tons of ways to grill a ribeye steak to make them tender, juicy, and delicious. But how do you know for sure it's not just because you had a really good piece of meat? To test this out, we're gonna prepare two ribeye steaks the same way. And to make this really interesting, I got one discount store cheap ribeye steak on sale. In fact, this is the last day they're suggesting to use it before it starts to go bad. But I also splurged on a $40 piece of ribeye that has been grass fed from a really nice store. We're gonna use really high quality seasonings and techniques before we carefully grill them on our Camp Chef Explorer two burner outdoor stove. And we're gonna do them both to a perfect medium rare. And then Sassy's gonna be our guinea pig for a blind taste test. She won't know which one was the grass fed beef. If it's all about the way it's cooked, both ribeyes should be equally delicious, right? Well, let's find out. So regular beef, also known as feedlot beef, support maximum growth and weight gain through high energy diet of grains and legumes, such as corn and soy. The confines of the feedlot discourage foraging activity to lower stress and energy expenditure, reduce the health issues and risks associated with the open grazing and maximize profits. Disadvantages of feedlots is that cattle stand in small crowded areas in their own feces and urine most of the time. Another big concern or disadvantage of feedlots is use of antibiotics, steroids, various growth hormones, and even E. coli bacteria infections. Grass-fed beef is derived solely from forage consisting of grass and other natural vegetation. The animals can't be fed grain or grain byproducts and must have continuous access to pasture during the growing season and are often in the sun getting exercise and enjoying their best life. Studies have found that grass-fed beef contains two to six times more omega-3 fatty acids than feedlot beef. Omega-3 fatty acids have been found to help prevent and treat many diseases. They include heart disease and stroke, autoimmune diseases such as lupus, eczema, rheumatoid arthritis, and others. And guys, grass-fed beef is just a whole nother level of beef. Go get you some and bonus points if you get some organic stuff. Today we're using this old but reliable Camp Chef Explorer two burner cooking stove with a griddle top accessory. Although it isn't perfectly uniform temperature cooktop with several extreme hot spots, it will work just fine for this experiment. I'm going to cook these the best way possible on this stove. Using beef tallow, butter, garlic, and live rosemary, the texture and flavor should be fantastic. I'm going to sear them on each side, getting that beautiful golden crust going for an internal temperature of 130 degrees, and that is Fahrenheit. Then I'm gonna apply the butter garlic mix toward the end and top it off with fresh rosemary. Let them rest for 10 minutes and then Sassy will try each one, but she won't know which one is the grass fed and which one's the regular. So I can't wait to see what happens. Look at these beauties, don't they look beautiful? So we got them up to right about medium rare, you know, in some places it's really hard with these to tell whether it's 130, 135, 140, it depends on the side of the steaks. So, but they were both cooked identical. I used that tallow, oil, garlic, rosemary. Oh man, seared it perfectly. I think it's great. Now, like I said before, Sassy doesn't know which one is the grass fed and which one is the grain lot or feeding lot fed discount steak. She didn't see me making the uh, video. She was working, she doesn't know which one's which. So, so babe, let's just dig in, you taste. There you go, <laughs> cut into the steak of your choice. Maybe we can cut into it and uh, show the center. Okay, I'm cutting into this steak here. Ooh, Ooh. cooked perfectly. That was a, looks like a nice medium, mm -hmm. almost medium rare. Almost. It's like a nice medium. Okay. You're gonna, ooh, Take a taste here. Right off the spinalis. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's beautiful. It's good. It's good. Uh -huh. It's really good. It's really good. It smells really good. I love it. You went, you went for the spinalis. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I would have done. So let's go for the uh, steak number, uh, well, let's call it steak number steak two. Steak number two. Yeah. And she's going into the spinalis. <laughs> you see the inside Ooh, there. Ooh, another perfect medium rare right there. I would imagine that more and toward the middle, it's probably more of a medium. First impression, how's it feel? 
How's it taste? That's dreamy. Mmm, I bet. Mm. So the Uncle Steve's shake has a little bit of citrus notes to it. I taste it. Uh, there's paprika, a few other spices, but it's primarily, primarily salt, pepper, garlic. And uh, kind of oh, she's going right down the middle. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that. That's perfect like you like. Okay. But I gotta taste this one again. This one kind of drew me in. You drew you in? Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Well. Okay, time to choose, babe. Steak A, what is it? I think this is the better steak. Steak B? Mm-hmm. You like steak B more? Let me see. Do oh. one more taste test. Do one more taste test. Mm-hmm. It's definitely this one is the better one. Yeah. So which one is it? Yep. So, steak B is the grass you know bed. The steak B is tender all the way through. Like, right when I bit into it. This other one kind of has a little bit of... Um, different texture. So I'm gonna try the grass fed. Uh, I'm not gonna waste my time with that feedlot stuff, but uh, maybe in a minute. It's still good. Okay, I'm digging in. Mm. Really good. You know, that Uncle Steve shake. I like the little citrusy mm. note in there. Very pronounced. A Little bit of rosemary. They're both really good. If I was a Batman, I couldn't tell. Honestly, one's thinner, so it's overall cooking kind of was a little bit different. Where the thicker one, which is grass fed, you know, it probably cooked a little bit slower because it had a lot more meat. Thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe, tell your friends, comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.